Um, <laughs> hello, today I'm here to demonstrate the segmented memory function on the GDS 2000A. I'll start off with a brief introduction to the segmented memory function and end with a simple demonstration. The segmented memory function is ideal to measure repetitive burst-like signals, such as I2C signals and other packeted signals, where there can be a lull between each packet or signal. When triggering these types of signals, there is often a lot of idle time where the scope memory is wasted. The segmented memory function essentially allows you to divide the memory up into segments so that you only capture the parts of the signal that are important to you and ignoring the parts of the signal that you don't need. The advantage of this is that you can effectively capture a lot more useful information in a single shot. As the memory length is maximized on the scope, the scope can maintain a high sampling rate as well. For this demonstration, we're going to use the segments function using the GDB03 demo board. The demo board is connected to the logic analyzer module here and it's set to output an SPI signal. First off, we have to turn the logic analyzer module on and turn on digital channel 0 to 7, which we've just done now. Next, we're going to get the scope to trigger on bus and we're going to set the bus to SPI. As you can see, it's triggered here and we're going to set the time division to 100 microseconds, sorry, 50 microseconds, and we're going to move the signal to the center of the screen. Okay, uh, next we're going to turn on the segments function, press the acquire key, segments, and turn segments on. Uh, the segment function is already run, but we'll run it again. Okay, uh, now we can select the segments that we want to look at. Over here we can choose which segment we should look at here. Over here we can choose how many segments we want. The GDS 2000A can have up to 2048 segments. Or we can alternatively just set to maximum or minimum. You can see here we're just set to maximum. Uh, next we can also, while it's in stop mode, is press the play pause key and play through every segment that we've captured. Okay, so that ends our demonstration. Thank you very much for watching.